Hello, this is Nathan Wood, pastor of North Dayton Baptist Church, and welcome to day 365 of the McShane Reading Plan. Thank you for joining us so far. Tomorrow will be a new day and a new year. 2022 with a new reading plan will be in Matthew, or Genesis 1, Matthew 1, Ezra 1, and Acts 1, I believe. Um, but today we're in 2 Chronicles 36, Revelation 22, Malachi 4, and Psalm 150. For those of you who have stuck through this year, thank you and uh, congratulations and thank the Lord. If you've stuck through two years, even more so. Um, I find it a great personal benefit to come to the Lord and come to the Word of the Lord daily with you. Um, so, Second Chronicles 36, Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon takes Jerusalem, takes the vessels. Now these are the same vessels that Belshazzar is using when he sees the handwriting on the wall. Takes everything out of the temple. Um, God's not pleased with this, but he allows it to happen. Kind of the story of the curse, isn't it? Um, and we have the repetition of the Jeremiah prophecy. By The Lord told Jeremiah, 70 years, three score and ten. This is expanded by Gabriel to mean the 77s, or the 70 sets of seven years of um, Daniel. And that's talking about the great and par terrible day of the Lord, which is referred to in Malachi, when, behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Jesus said in Matthew 11 that John the Baptist would have fulfilled that prophecy had they accepted the kingdom. What kingdom? The Jewish kingdom. The Jewish Messiah sitting on the Jewish throne of David. It hasn't changed, ladies and gentlemen. He's yet to come. This promise is yet to be fulfilled. Otherwise, he would have said, you know, here it is fulfilled. He said, if you would believe, if you would accept it, if you will, this is Elijah. And um, they didn't take him. They didn't take him. Elijah is yet to come. He will return. Remember, Elijah never died either. Um, he shall turn the heart of their fathers to the children and the heart of the children to the fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. The earth is already cursed. And um, it's not going to be cursed again. It's going to be purified finally by fire, but it's going to be remade. Also in Malachi 4, but unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness with, arise with healing in his wings, and you shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall, baby calves, leaping and jumping and, and playing, beautiful sight to behold. Um, son of righteousness with healing in his wings. This is the same prophecy that the woman with the issue of blood would have been trusting in when she wanted to just grab the hem of his garment, tzit tzit, kanaf, the tassels of his prayer shawl, if you will, his wings. Beautiful picture. Then we have Revelation chapter 22. The Lord's going to remove the curse. There shall be no more curse. We talked about that. But the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be on it, in it, and his servants shall serve him. Verse 7, Behold, I come quickly. Verse 12, Behold, I come quickly. My word is reward is with me to give every man, every man according to his work shall be. If you want to be found in your own works, don't trust in the Lord, and you will be judged according to your works. If you want to be found in Jesus, your work that you're judged for will be the work of Jesus. Now, as far as your place in the kingdom, yes, there's a reward to be had in greater or lesser degree for those who serve the Lord faithfully, who are believers. But Salvation is not measured by that. Salvation is measured by the righteousness of Christ alone. And here's the warning. Here's the warning that we're left with. Verse 19, And if any man shall take 
From the words of this book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. But there's also a very great blessing, blessing to those who read and hear and understand the book of Revelation. But it's a two-edged sword. People shy away from this book because you don't want to add to it. You don't want to sensationalize it. But if we don't teach it, it's almost nigh close to uh, taking away from it. You're taking the whole thing away. Even John Calvin and I believe Martin Luther didn't want the book of Revelation in the canon of Scripture. And I'm not saying that good men are infallible, certainly not. But that's something to give us pause. The book of Revelation is for our betterment. It's for our understanding. It's for our reproof. It's to tell us that Christ wins. It's to tell us how he wins. And it ties with the rest of Scripture. It refers to the Old Testament. It refers to the prophecies. It refers to... Daniel very strongly. And while this has not been an in-depth study of Revelation, these things are yet to come. These things are yet to come. And you can be sure that the Lord has written the end of the book. And you can be sure, dear friend, if you are in Him, it doesn't matter what comes tomorrow, it doesn't matter what comes next year, the Lord will have the last word and he will reign eternally he is going to set things right and he wants you to spend eternity with him that's for sure that's for sure until then let us love the Lord seek his face trust in him if we have not already but if we even if we have we need to continue to grow closer to him in his word and in prayer and following him thinking on him reading about him talking about him the time is short the time is short we need to be about our father's business and we also need to be seriously um praying for the lost sheep of the house of Israel and the nation of Israel. I think that's very important. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And, of course, pray for revival in our own country and in the rest of the world. We desperately need it. And the earth groans for her maker. I wish you a blessed new year. And as we come into the... Uh, the close of this year we uh, we hope that it has been a good one for you and that there are better times to come with the Lord especially I pray that the next year will be a year where you grow closer to Jesus than you ever have thanks for joining us this year I love you have a good day